Hi folks, this is a video about the electric system in MDC caravans and the Robson XTT camper trailer. Often people have trouble diagnosing faults and understanding how the systems work. So this video's aim is to break that down into smaller sections and make it easy for you to understand how everything works. Now on the system, we have main components and systems. We have 240 volt into the camper or caravan, and we also have 12 volt into the caravan as well. Then from the battery, we have systems that run from that battery power. So to make it easy, we'll start with the 240 volt system. Now to charge your caravan or your camper, you have 240 volt supply to run a charger to then charge the batteries. How that works is you've got your mains power board here, which you plug into with your extension lead. Now that goes into the camper or caravan and is governed by what we call an RCD device. This is a safety switch like you have in your home. So if there's uh, an interruption to the power, if there's a short, some, one of the kids sticks a knife into the uh, power point, that'll trip and protect you and your property. From there, it runs direct to the power points inside the caravan. From there, you plug your 240 volt charger plugs directly into one of the double pole power points and that does the work charging the battery. So 240 volt in, your RCD is your protection. Your 12 volt in from the charger is also protected by a circuit breaker. So when troubling, uh, troubleshooting your 240 volt power supply to uh, charge the camper or run from the power points, first thing you do is check your RCD, make sure that hasn't tripped. If it has tripped, reset it. Easy way to work that out, if the charger is lit up, that means that this is working properly. And if this is working properly, your power points will work as well. If it's not getting 12 volt power from the charger, A, make sure it's switched on here at the power point. Make sure it's switched on at the charger. Now, if all that's good, it's likely the fault will be at the circuit breaker between the charger and the battery. So you need to check that hasn't tripped. If it has, reset it. So that's how we troubleshoot that area there. It's all very, very simple. Remember when you're with 240 volt power, be very, very careful. Don't go changing or uh, repairing your 240 volt system. That's up to a qualified electrician to do. Our other input is 12 volt input from either solar or from your car. So that's a DC input. How that works is, your solar or your car are each individually, the power into the DC to DC is protected by circuit breakers. So the one for the Anderson plug and one for the solar. To start your troubleshooting, start with the DC to DC. If it's simply not lit up as per normal, it could be a problem with this breaker here. If you're seeing the alternator light is on, that'll mean that this is working correctly. There is no problem with the breaker. If your car's connected running and the alternator light isn't on, it'll be that breaker. Same for the solar. If the solar power is on, that's gonna be okay. If not, check that breaker. Now these will all be located together near the batteries, uh, under seats and on the Robson XTT, under the seat just next to the door. If you've got power from both of those or either to the IDC25, but they're not charging, it's likely to be this breaker here. So check that one. Uh, if it's tripped, press the black button back in and reset it. Also with the XTT, remember we use a patch lead on that from the solar panel into the Anderson plug just down underneath the camper. Make sure that's plugged in and there's no problems with that. With your car, also check that with a multimeter or something that there is power to the Anderson plug on the car. The only other thing that could go wrong with the car is if you haven't got the trigger wire connected, as in power to the number 12 pin from your car while it's running, it won't activate 
the DC to DC to take power from it on a caravan while ever there's sufficient power from the solar panels. So make sure that your 12 pin plug is set up correctly with power to the number 12 pin, accessory power while the car is running, and then fault check back from there. Now the systems that run off the battery uh, are primarily the control panel, which is your distribution point to your various things. So you've got your water pump, your lights, sockets, power to the heater, power to the fridge, that sort of thing. There is a circuit breaker between the battery and the control panel, which will be a black bodied breaker with a red button on top. And if it trips, a little red lever will pop out the side. So that's protection for all 12 volt power. So if you've got nothing working in 12 volt and the battery has charge, it's, it's got enough voltage, that breaker between the battery and the control panel is gonna be where the problem lies. If you have power has failed to an individual 12 volt circuit, say the pump's not working, the lights or the sockets, etc., that will be one of the breakers on the control panel itself. So you'll have a row of switches and a row of circuit breakers above them they're a push to reset one. So identify if your sockets aren't working, identify the socket switch. It'll be the breaker above that. Push it, reset it, and everything should start working again. The other systems are the inverter. That's fairly simple. That will turn your battery power into 240 volt alternating current. There is a rather large breaker, which looks just like the one before the control panel, black bodied, red button on top, little lever on the side. That is what you check if the inverter's not lighting up, not activating at all. Also, there's an on-off switch on the inverter itself. The other system you need to know about is the breakaway system. Now, it has a different fuse on it. On the breakaway systems on all MDC campers and caravans has an individual blade fuse. That's an automotive type fuse, which is like a blade and slots into its own little individual holder. On a single axle uh, trailer, it'll be a 15 amp. On a dual axle, it'll be a 25 amp. Its own black holder, and it'll be very, very close to the batteries. And how the breakaway system works is the power runs to the switch that's on the drawbar, and the two contacts are held apart by the pin that slots in with the wedge on the front. If that pulls out, the contacts come together and it will run power directly from the battery to the brakes, apply the brakes and stop it and hold the trailer in place if it becomes separated from the vehicle. So that's the odd one out. That is not a reset breaker. So always carry a spare. So if you've got a single axle, carry a spare 15 amp or a couple of spare 15 amp blade fuses. Dual axle, make sure they're 25 amp. So that's how the various systems run. Remember, between the battery and whatever's taking power, there'll be at least one breaker in the control panel, a series of breakers and a main breaker, the one breaker for the inverter. Everything else is also protected. So each individual source has some kind of protection. So to make it easy, separate them into their own little groups, and it makes it easy to nut out your troubleshooting and finding problems when you're out and about. Hopefully that simplified it for you. Uh, remember, most of the manuals have got wiring diagrams in them as well, and watch all the handover videos. They'll help a lot with the location of fuses and breakers.